so for the last uh, talk uh, uh, today in this room, we're start, uh, starting uh, with uh, Leandro Gomez. Uh, uh, he, will, he will talk about uh, building free software communities. Uh, Leandro is the, well, w one of the local uh, uh, team members of uh, the DevCoff organization and a long-time uh, free software advocate here in, in Nicaragua. Uh, so, Leandro, please, uh, they're all yours. Please, the microphone for Leandro. No? Yeah. No? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, welcome. If you're here, you're interested in community work, so uh, this isn't going, going to be a lecture. I hope it's going to be the start of a discussion about how to improve uh, communities in Debian. So, So presentation is not working. Nice. So uh, maybe I start uh, telling you who I am. Uh, my name is Leandro. I'm one of the DevConf organizer and current team leader of the Debian uh, Nicaragua community. I am a contributor to the Debian project and Debian users since uh, 2000. Uh, I have been involved in, uh, in community work, in free software communities, uh, both at the local level in Nicaragua and internationally. And I'm going to talk a bit about uh, my experience in community work and uh, about Debian community especially. and. Uh, what we lack inside the Debian community and how we can improve it. So, uh, maybe we should start uh, defining what is a local group, or what is a local community. For instance, uh, a local community or a local group uh, can be city-based. For example, Debian Hamburg, uh, for Debian users in Hamburg, or country-based, like uh, Debian Nicaragua, that is uh, based, uh, uh, that is representing a whole country. Uh, a local group usually represents uh, Debian in this case uh, in events, in free software events or technological events, uh, have a booth maybe or uh, organize their own events like Debian Day or install fests uh, or key signing parties. Um, next please. So Debian Nicaragua is a community that is very, very young. Uh, we were established around the year 2007. We have a web page that is debian.org.ne and an IRC channel, Debian.ne at uh, Debian, uh, irc.debian.org. Uh, we represent Debian and organize events since uh, year 2008, approximately. Uh, the Debian community in Nicaragua is very special. Uh, we work uh, together very closely with other communities. Uh, for example, if there is a, a Fedora launch par party or, or uh, an Ubuntu event or whatever, uh, the Debian community always works together with other communities. We have very, very good relationships uh, between the different communities. I know that this isn't the case always in many countries. But in Nicaragua, we, we do. So uh, it's composed mostly our community of Debian users and contributors. We don't have yet any Debian maintainer or Debian developer yet. Right? Hopefully, we will have, after this Debian conference, people interested in getting involved, more involved in Debian. So uh, we do a lot of events. Uh, we had an event uh, recently that was the Debian Tour, that was uh, several talks and conferences in universities in uh, different cities. Uh, we also have uh, packaging sessions. This one was from 2008, I think. 
uh, where Rene Mayorga, a uh, Debian developer from El Salvador, came and gave us a packaging session. Uh, we also have, well, Install Fest. Uh, we have conferences mostly at universities. But also we have uh, social events. I think it's underestimated the significance and the importance of social events. Uh, and this is something we, we try to do as often as, often as we can, uh, not only being in front of the computer, but also trying to, to relate to each other. And, 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 and one of the, the key success, I think, of our community is that we are not only colleagues, we are also friends, very good friends. And uh, I think that is very important. So, uh, when we talk about uh, local groups, uh, maybe we, we should look what other, other communities are doing. Uh, the Fedora community has a program that is called the Fedora Ambassadors, uh, that is uh, one representative or several representatives per country that represents Fedora. Uh, they have something called FAMSCO, that is the Fedora Ambassadors Steering Committee, or something like that. That is a governing body uh, that is in charge of uh, giving resources and helping ambassadors in, in the different, different countries. Then we have also the example of the Ubuntu community. The Ubuntu community have what they call the, the local teams. The local teams are the local is abbreviation of local community. And they have uh, around, I don't know, 200, 220 uh, local groups all over the world. Uh, in Europe, uh, North, South America, Asia, Africa, Australia, Oceania. And uh, they are governed by a body that is called the Ubuntu Lo Local Council or Ubuntu Local Community Council uh, that is composed of, of six members, six board members. Uh, I was a member of the Ubuntu Local Council for two years, two years I think, yeah. And uh, what we did was um, helping uh, new teams to get approved status. Right? They have two different distinctions between twins, new teams and approved teams. A new team is a, a team that is forming, that is beginning to, to, to form. And uh, an approved team is a team that has been active for uh, six months, 12 months, and have done events and, and have set up all the resources like mailing lists, uh, websites, and, and everything. Uh, that's another model. It's a bit bureaucratic maybe, but it works well in, 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 in the sense that, uh, that they, they have a, a, a group of people advising the, the, new, the new communities and helping to grow the new communities. In that sense, it's, it's, it's quite good. Um, so, in the case of Debian, uh, we have Debian local groups. There is a wiki page, uh, wiki.ebian.org slash local groups, where there is a list of approximately 35, 35 local groups from 23 countries. And uh, yes, I'm coming back to that uh, in a moment. Uh, why should we care about uh, local groups? Well, Debian has a, a strong user base, uh, a very strong user base, not only because of Debian itself, uh, also because of the derivatives that are very popular. And uh, the, the local groups are a new way to reach out to new users. It's a, it's a very good, good way to reach out to new users. And maybe uh, someone could say, hey, we don't care about users. Why will we reach out to new users? Well, because new users can become contributors to, to the project. So uh, this page, this uh, for local groups in the wiki that I talked about in the, in the, the last slide, uh, is outdated. Uh, there is uh, 35 local groups listed there, and maybe half of them is not active. If you go to the mailing list of those groups, uh, there are uh, 
archives from 2004, and then there is nothing. Uh, so that's uh, something that definitely needs to be fixed. The other thing is that the wiki page of the local groups uh, don't have any useful content. If you go to that wiki and want to start a new group, there is no content or there is nothing to say how to start a local group. But that should be something that has to be listed on the, on the group. If I come from Nicaragua or Costa Rica or Panama and I want to start a Debian group in my country, I need to know what should I do, how should I start. And that's definitely something that must be on that wiki. Another thing is that there, there is no list of available resources. Uh, when I talk about available resources, it's maybe um, when you start a new group, you need to set up uh, some basic resources for communication, for example, like a mailing list, uh, like an IRC channel, and that's something that the Debian project can help with. Uh, to have an IRC channel on Debian, on ircdebian.org, or a mailing list in Debian namespace, that could be something that the project could help with. And there is, uh, there is no information on, on how to proceed with that. Uh, the thing is uh, that because of that, many groups uh, choose to do the things the wrong way. Uh, some groups have, uh, for example, their page at debian.org.country. For, for example, de debian.org.ni in Nicaragua, debian.org.country the Venezuela and so on, and some countries have an, an, an another domain that is completely unrelated, and uh, that's uh, that's not uniform. Say that. Uh, another thing is sharing experiences. There is no way of sharing experiences. Uh, we in in our community uh, we do that a lot of interesting things, and I'm sure that other communities. Uh, do the same thing, but there is no place where we can share those experiences with other communities. And then there aren't a point of contact between the local user groups and the Debian developers or the, the, the sub-projects of, of, uh, of the Debian project. For example, local groups, one of the task, tasks they can do is, for example, translating. And there is no, no connection, no, no contact between those, these local groups that are maybe interested in translating and the Debian trans translating uh, teams. So what can we do to, to fix this? Uh, one of the things is to encourage the creation of Debian, of local Debian community. I think it's a great idea to have, to have uh, someone uh, representing Debian at a local level, could be at city level or country level if the country is small, or even at a university. Uh, the other thing is to maintain a directory, an updated directory of local Debian uh, user groups. So if someone wants to know uh, where can I find a, a Debian group in Honduras, for example, you can look at that directory and there is a, a, an email, uh, a contact person, uh, maybe a, a, an IRC channel or something. Uh, the other thing is create, as I said before, create useful content, create content that is relevant to this, to this group, not only the groups that are creating or, or forming, also for the groups that are already working. Uh, and then uh, also establish best, best practices when I talk about best practice, I mean uh, how to solve conflicts uh, is an important thing. Uh, and uh, oh, managing resources, how do we fund events, something like that. And uh, yes, and uh, maybe a, a, a how to uh, organizing events. Uh, the other thing I think we, we don't do very well is uh, uh, Publicizing uh, what we do. Uh, tell others what we do. Tell others what the local groups do. There is maybe a mini DebConf or uh, a Debian event or a Debian booth somewhere, and uh, we don't know. We don't find out because uh, it's not it's not 
uh, is not properly communicated to, to others. So uh, one of the things we can do is increase the visibility of, of the local events and initiatives, maybe through the, through the Debian planet, maybe has have a uh, Debian user group uh, account where one can post what, what the different Debian groups around the world are doing and uh, maybe also coordinate with the, with the publicity team and make some stories in the Debian project news. And another thing, one of the last thing is est establish a, a not so bureaucratic and excluding governance model. Because while well, someone must maybe coordinate this, this effort, but, but not doing it is so rigid or so bureaucratic. And that's all for me. I don't know if you have some questions or comments. Um, well, um, I, I just have one question. How do you deal with the um, people to um, continue working in the in the communities um, here in Nicaragua because I, in El Salvador sometimes we have um, a few years back um, some people were active in the communities but later on there was no people to um, take those work then yes uh, it has been a problem here with some communities. Uh, some communities, there are very, very active persons who start the community and do all the work, and then when that person has uh, other things to do, maybe work, real life, then the community dies. Uh, what we are doing here in Nicaragua uh, are trying to mentor people. For example, here at the, at the Atuca, at the Central American University, they have a local user group, and what they do is that they, they mentor uh, other students so they, they can take over when the, when the student graduates. So, and it works very well. Uh, what we try to do is that the new people coming to the, to the community give them responsibilities so they can, they can learn by doing. And it has working so far, I think. Obviously, there are, there are experienced people, veterans, old people like me that started many years ago, community that, that still are working, but uh, you see many new faces. Uh, for example, uh, this year we had the uh, Flisol here at Tuca, and we had, uh, I don't know, 50 volunteers. And when you look at the, at the group photo, photo after, after the event, half of the people, I didn't know the name, because they're new people. And so I think it's, it's really working. I think uh, well, uh, there there is a, a big difference. Going back to the early slides uh, of your talk, uh, there is a big difference, I believe, between what uh, well, uh, precisely uh, given what makes uh, Debian unique. Uh, you compared, and I think it's an interesting exercise. Uh, how is the uh, local Debian community working? To how are other uh, distributions, uh, communities. So yeah, that shows clearly that, uh, uh, well, uh, the mentioned ones, uh, Ubuntu and Fedora, uh, the international groups do have a, a following for, for uh, creating user groups. While in Debian, well, I am aware of very, very few user groups around the world. Uh, what, what I think that uh, serves uh, uh, more usually uh, and maybe better, I don't know, is uh, the fact that instead of being something that uh, it's it not, not delegated, but instead of being the, the, author the central authority uh, approving you to be the local leader, uh, I think the, the process is uh, backwards. If there is a local community and usually they, uh, if the local community registers debian.org.ni Nobody will care. I mean, uh, in, some, uh, in some places we have seen that uh, Debian demands a uh, domain name to be given back because it was used for uh, uh, unclear purposes. But uh, 
I don't think we can expect uh, Debian to go down and create local communities. It, it's uh, the other way around, the way you've been working here, and well, you know, that's the reason I, I was first attracted to Central America, because you, you have managed uh, to, to keep the, the, to make out of the very dif different and disconnected local communities, not only of the five countries, but of the uh, many different uh, local places, uh, to build a larger community. And that shows the, that there is the power to, to build uh, larger projects. So I think that that's the reaction in, in which uh, the, this should be uh, pushed and grown. Yeah, I think I, I also don't believe that you can create communities from up and down. Uh, they must grow organically. I think that really. But I think Debian could also, the Debian project could also uh, encourage or, or help or make life easier maybe for the, for the growing communities, for the new communities. Uh, or else that, that, that happens. What happens in El Salvador, for example, there are people that are working hard many, many years and then they get tired. Well, people that are officially blessed and all that also get tired. Yes, of course. So, uh, but well, for example, uh, uh, what, what has been uh, discussed by several people so far in this conference is, is that Debian now has this role of uh, non-uploading the developer. That, uh, that role uh, has been used for people doing uh, translation documentation work. It could be used for people doing uh, artwork. It could be used for people doing a, a, like a, a global reaching or um, a, um, a wide reaching uh, a community work. I mean, it's not defined. So I, I, I think uh, you are in a great position to start exploring that role. Because uh, as uh, Stefano said, we only have five non-uploading DDs. Yeah. And yeah, the thing is we still don't know what to do with that role. It's yeah. a role we needed. And yeah. there are, at least we have five, five people who have uh, filled that uh, with their profiles. But uh, well, we need more people to, mm -hmm. to show different ways to, to, to use yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's a big problem really because many people think that it's difficult to get into Debian. It's difficult to contribute to Debian. And I think it's Debian is the, the easiest community to get involved with. It's, it's really easy, it's just jump in, do the work, and, and really, really, it's really easy. But that's why I, I think we need user groups also. I don't think it's a question of the ease or difficulty <laughs> of, of getting involved. It's maybe it's a perception from some people that, um, that they're not a developer. Yeah. So, so there's like there's two tracks. There's like the developer, and there's there's not a developer. Now, you don't have to be a software developer or an engineer to believe in the principles of free software, uh, and so th that's something that that needs to be debated over and over again. Mm -hmm. Is to work out just who is a member of, of Debian? Is it yeah. someone who can do packaging and do software engineering? Or is it someone who believes in these principles? Where, where is the right balance? Um, I mean, for me, the principles are actually more important. And so, so I think that we should actually be focusing on that area as a community. I think the communities are great in, in that sense because it, it attracts not only developers or programmers, it attracts a, a broad public also. We have, uh, I don't know, lawyers in our, in our community, business administrators, and really developers or programmers or very few. I think that's exactly what the non-uploading DD status has said. We've, the project has agreed that we want more people who aren't developers contributing to Debian. And if you go back to that slide of things that need to be done, all of those are great projects for someone who wants to get involved in Debian. We could really use a guide on how to start a community. I, I'm the only Debian developer in my city. There may be two or three other people I know who I have persuaded to help contribute things to Debian. I wish we had a bigger community, but I don't have the time to make it happen. <laughs> um, I would love other people to try and help push that. And if there were more resources for that, it would be useful.
more questions? Well, in, uh, in I don't think this talk can reach a conclusion. Maybe mm. the main <laughs> conclusion is you have to do more work. We yeah. have to do more work. Everybody has to do more work. I think, uh, again, if you're, if you're working around this topic, it means, well, you may be uh, non-uploading DD number six. That, that's a path. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody recognizes you have done a lot of work so far. <laughs> and uh, well, all of you just, uh, I mean, I know many, many from you are not from this country. Just the fact of traveling uh, to Nicaragua to, uh, and devoting uh, some days to be here, it shows there is uh, interest and there, there are things uh, you can surely point out that uh, need to be done. Uh, well, it's an interesting exercise to do uh, talking English, having just two guys uh, who don't <laughs> understand Spanish speaking <laughs> here in the front. Uh, I think it's uh, interesting and also that this uh, talk can be useful for other people later on. Right. So you want to discuss this further? We're going to have a, a, a buff on Friday, uh, here at Roberto Terana at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. So you're welcome if you want to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.